Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, daily chart of the E-mini and what we've seen, you know, over the holiday and into yesterday is, you know, some pretty consistent buying. I mean, it was, you know, if you want to call it a holiday walk up, I mean, whatever you want to call it. But the reality is, at least in the overnight last night, they tried to take back the... They tried to take the daily pivot last night, and they tried to take the mid band, okay, which is coming in this morning around 79, 68, you know, 79, 80. They weren't able to do that. They printed 81 half, and um, they took it up from there. Um, we're currently long. Uh, we're long 84. We're out of everything except the last piece. I put an 81 stop on before I went to bed last night, and, you know, Sometimes you get lucky and you don't get stopped out and it runs. Sometimes you get stopped out and then it runs. So you take the good with the bad. So uh, we'll take it for sure. Uh, what I'm looking for today um, is can the bulls continue to push? Um, I don't think the bulls have done enough. I mean, you know, you don't, you can't, you know, we have this bear trend down in January. We come back to 1940, make a lower high, and then we go make a lower low. If the bulls are going to get the tape back on a consistent basis, on anything longer than a bear market rally type basis, the first order of business is to take out 1940. So until we take out 1940, all of this, every bit of it, is a bear market rally and a rally that, in theory, can be sold. Now, the, the floors are strewn with bodies of traders that have tried to short this the last few days. And the trouble with a bear market rally, and I've mentioned this on the webcast before, is it sucks you in. And if you get in early and you fight it, then you become part of the squeeze. And you can really do some damage. You can undo a lot of good work fighting uh, a bear market rally that isn't ready to end. So you have to be patient. Um, you know, coming into key, into key areas like the the, the mid band on the daily when we tested that from underneath, you know, that was an area where you have to try some. Um, we tried some, it went well, and then, you know, we got caught when it hopped over the top, but you use your risk parameters and, you know, Part of trading is taking risk, and sometimes that risk isn't going to work out, uh, but if you have your risk rules in place, then you're not going to get hurt and you're ready for the next trade. Getting stopped out of a trade shouldn't be an event. It should just be a situation where you had a good setup, but the market just didn't do what you needed it to do. Don't take it personally. Move on to the next one, because there's always another good opportunity, like getting long 84 against 81. I mean, you never you know, you know, never know when the next good one is going to come along. Um if you get stubborn, if you if you continue to add and add and add, then you end up down 10, 20, 30 handles. That is an account changer. That is also a trader mentality changer. That will screw you up for a long time. And you won't be able to trade when the good opportunities come. So I talk about this because every time I see this action on the daily chart where you have three big green candles off of a lower uh, off of a lower low, that's a function of a lot of people fighting the market. And I would argue it would be better to try to do what you can to get in tune with it and, and go with it until it's ready to come down. So Friday afternoon, there was a dip down in the 40, you know, the, the high 40s. We got in at 48 half and, and we held that runner over the weekend. And that was a much easier way to spend your weekend than coming in Monday and trying to short it 10 different ways from Sunday when it's just not ready to come back. Will it come back? Yes. The issue becomes, can it take out 1940? And on a pullback, is it going to make a higher low versus 1802 half or a lower low? If it makes a higher low, then you know we're going to battle it out all spring long about who wants control of this chart. If it makes a lower low, I think you'll see much lower lows than 1802 half. Then the bears you know, have created yet another lower high versus 1940 and then another lower low. And at that point, a lot of people will step back 
and then we'll go and test some of those lows you know from a couple years ago and see if they want to be support okay everybody have a fantastic day follow us on twitter at princeton trader check out the website come check out the chat room a um, lot of people trialing in the room a lot of people just converted over to subscribers it's a great bunch of people come meet us if you do this every day we'd love to meet you i'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast trade them well